Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year's. It is January 1st, 2024. Crazy to think that it's already New Year's Day. Um, I hope everyone had themselves a good Christmas and have had a good holiday season full of merriment and wonder and all that sort of good stuff. It's been a good holiday season for us and our house good good season of just relaxing taking it easy and uh you know just enjoying some treats and some some good company so um as i posted on my instagram last week uh this week's video is about this book right here um the untold legend of the batman it is a paperback size uh retelling of the origin of a whole bunch of characters of batman of batman's father thomas uh joe chill the uh the the guy who murders uh batman's parents and sends him on the road to what he is today um joker check out those sweet sweet villain picks so this book I got from a fella on eBay. I I had this book when I was a kid. I was probably oh 10, 11. It was one of my very first like comic books. Um, I got this book when I was 10 or 11 from I don't remember where. I honestly cannot can't remember for this for anything where I got this book when I was a kid it was just it was such an important part of my uh, reading comics and enjoying comics and really ultimately like looking back at it ultimately it was such an important part of what I do now um, my copy of this book, I have no idea what happened to it. It just disappeared. I don't even know. Um, so the last little while I've been kind of looking on eBay, looking online and, um, looking to see if I could find another copy because actually I saw that they were talking about this book on Cartoonist Kayfabe a while ago yes, and it just sparked that memory, right? So I was looking on eBay, looking all around to see if I could find, you know, a decent copy of it. Didn't have to be perfect. As you can see, this one is not perfect. There's a, there's actually a page in here that's ripped. Can't even find it. Um, but everywhere I was looking, you know, people were wanting, say, 10 15 bucks for it which is fine but most of it was from the states so shipping was 20 25 dollars all of a sudden you're looking at like a 40 50 dollar book you know and as much as i wanted it it's not something i needed that bad so earlier this month i was looking around on ebay yet again taking a look for this and i found a fella in ontario who was selling a copy um taxes shipping in everything i think it was like four bucks so yep done and now i have it in my possession once again so when i was just a young fella i didn't know i didn't know anything about artists or writers or anything of that ilk but this book right here because this originally was a full-size comic book. It was a one of DC's very first miniseries that they did. Um, from what I read on Wikipedia, I don't know. Actually, what I'll do is I will post a link of that Wikipedia that I was reading for this um, in the comments below. It's a real pretty informative uh, entry. So this was originally 
full-size comic book. As you can see, this is just a little paperback as an example. See the size difference here? Yeah, there's there's a fair size difference. So this was a three issue miniseries that delved into Batman's past. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. So yeah, it was a three issue miniseries. Um, covers done by do, 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 uh, Jose Garcia Lopez. I saw it on the cover, but totally forgot. <laughs> so all the covers were done by him, um, inked by Dick, Dick Giordano. And um, little did I know, as just a young guy, written by Len Wein, as everyone knows, hugely, hugely influential writer, one of the creators of a little fellow named Wolverine, and illustrated by Jim Aparo and John Byrne. Two guys who, back then, this this book came out in 1982, I want to say is what it says in here, yeah, 1982, and... I had no idea who these guys were. I I just liked the pictures, you know. I knew um I knew Batman and the Joker and everything from obviously the 89 Batman cuz I didn't get this one. It was brand new just out. Um So I might have been a little bit older. I don't remember. The years of kind of escaping on me here. Um So Jim Apparel, John Byrne, no idea who they were. And Jim Apparel would be the one to go on to uh, eventually do the Death in the Family uh, story that had uh, the death of Jason Todd, Robin. And very, very influential uh, Batman artist on not only myself, but a whole generation of artists. Um, he drew Batman for years. He drew Batman getting his back broken, all that sort of thing. And John Byrne, if you're if you're watching this video, you know comics, I would assume, or you're just a friend. <laughs> um, but John Byrne, you know, highly, highly influential artist and writer. Um, you know, X Men, Wonder Woman, Superman. He did it on Spider Man, like. All sorts of stuff. So for a young guy who's just just thinking about maybe drawing comics, to see uh, John Byrne's work in the first issue, and then Jim Aparo takes over for issues two and three, um, to see in black and white, no less, to see uh, their hands at work doing these just like, I mean, look at these pages. Just page after page of just incredible artwork. A great story. Like when I, when I was a kid, like who knows, my copy of this book might have just got thrown in the garbage because it was destroyed because I read the hell out of it. It's just such a good story. I recommend if you can find a copy of this, definitely pick it up. Even just for the artwork alone, I mean. It's just... I, I should see if I can find it in um, color. Because I'd love to see it in color. It's just... It's such a book that influenced me so much as a youngster. And even to this day, especially now knowing what I know about uh comic books and comic book making um it's you can never you can never stop learning you know and from a writing standpoint len ween like you can't not learn from a guy like him and these two artists right here i mean you're never too old to learn 
some new tricks, you know, put, put some more uh, tools in that tool belt, so to speak. So, the untold legend of the Batman. If you find a copy, pick it up. Uh, there's that page with their rip. <laughs> On the Wikipedia page, it is, they actually have in there what, um, what books this story is actually um, reproduced in. So I'll be checking that out. You guys should check it out and scoop it up if you get a chance. And yeah, next week, what are we going to talk about? You tell me in the comments and we'll figure it out. All right. Have yourselves a happy New Year's Day and a happy New Year. And I will see you guys next week.